Exodus Chapter 13 Consecration of the Firstborn The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Consecrate to me every firstborn. Whatever opens the womb among the children of Israel, both of men and animals, is mine. And Moses said to the people, Remember this day, in which you came out of Egypt, from the house of bondage, for the Lord brought you out of here with a strong hand. Therefore, you shall not eat leavened bread. You are going out today in the month of Abib. And when the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which he swore to your fathers to give you, a land flowing with milk and honey, you shall keep this celebration in this month. For seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day, there shall be a feast to the Lord. For seven days, unleavened bread shall be eaten, and no leavened bread shall be seen with you, nor any leaven, throughout all your territory. And you shall tell your son in that day, saying, This is done because of what the Lord did for me when I came out of Egypt. And it shall be a sign to you on your hand and as a memorial before your eyes, so that the law of the Lord may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand, the Lord brought you out of Egypt. Therefore, you shall keep this ordinance in its season from year to year. And when the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites, as he swore to you and your fathers, and gives it to you, you shall set apart to the Lord all that opens the womb, and every firstborn of your animals, the males shall be the Lord's. But every firstborn of a donkey, you shall redeem with a lamb. And if you will not redeem it, then you shall break its neck. And all the firstborn of man among your sons you shall redeem. And when in the future your son asks you, saying, What does this mean? You shall say to him, The Lord brought us out of Egypt with a strong hand, from the house of bondage. And when Pharaoh stubbornly refused to let us go, the Lord killed all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of the animals. Therefore, I sacrifice to the Lord all male firstborn, but I redeem the firstborn of my sons. So it shall be a sign on your hand and as a memorial before your eyes, for by a strong hand the Lord brought us out of Egypt. The Pillar of Cloud and Fire When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest perhaps the people change their minds when they see war, and return to Egypt. But God led the people around by the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. And the children of Israel went up armed out of the land of Egypt. Moses took with him the bones of Joseph, who had made the children of Israel swear an oath, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry my bones up from here with you. They departed from Succoth and camped in Etham, at the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them along the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, so they might travel by day and by night. The pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night never departed from before the people. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Give it a like, comment your thoughts, and share this video with your friends and family.